it's such a privilege to reside here. And just as the original stewards of the Mississaugas for the territory, I think any owner of a heritage property in this district is a stewardship role. The Heritage Grant Program recognizes that uh, heritage property owners pay a premium to get the work done on their homes because every property owner has to do maintenance but they can choose less expensive methods of repair and so for a heritage property owner we have restrictions on what you can do in terms of the materials that you use and this is in order to conserve Oakville's heritage fabric so it's really important. Historically Oakville was a port and shipbuilding center. The town grew around the harbor and Lakeside Park on Thomas Street, you can find a row of three shipbuilders' cottages known as the Three Sisters. My property is the middle sister, and they have a really interesting history. There are characteristics of architecture that are unique Oakville vernacular style, which is a story and a half. And at the north of here is the tinsmith shop, which would have been for the tall ship building and uh, trades. So it's a living history. Um, when you see the evolution of who has resided in these houses, um, it tells the history of a town. The front of the home was built in 1852 and over the years has housed shipbuilders, tinsmiths, police constables, and even been used as the town's dairy. The Stone Hook Foundation is Credit Valley Limestone and Kingston Shale. That shale probably would have come from ship ballast from Oakville's tall ships. Catherine received a heritage grant and has had the chimney repointed this year. Grant is a matching 50-50 uh, program, so the property owner is contributing as well as the town. And we're pleased to make that assistance in recognition of the hard work that these people are doing in order to conserve their, their pieces of Oakville's heritage. It's also an intangible contribution from the town an acknowledgement of Oakville's, the importance of Oakville's history and the fragility of that history, um, that it can be lost in a minute if these homes and streetscapes and natural heritage attributes, the heritage tree canopy both on public land and private land, um, are not safeguarded. So this year the Heritage Grant Program has covered um, a ton of different projects. In addition to Catherine's lovely home here, there's been funding allocated for um, Knox Presbyterian Church to assist with their stained glass window restoration project. We've also provided funding to uh, Knox 16 Church, which is up on Dundas Street, to help with their cemetery fence restoration because the property is actually a cultural heritage landscape. A lot of these projects are labors of love and um I can't think of a, a better place to live in this old Oakville Heritage Conservation District. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.